channel hope you're all doing really well today i'm going to be showing you guys how i curl my hair as most of you know by now i chopped all my hair off a couple of weeks ago and i am really loving it the one thing i haven't been able to master yet is styling it styling short hair is so much harder than styling long hair because your choices can be somewhat limited you can't do as much but i have come up with something that I'm really loving and apparently you guys have too because you have heavily requested this since my last video so I thought I would show you guys how I do it and yeah I really hope you guys enjoy it and I will talk to you guys later. Bye! So before anything the first thing I like to do is spray some of this sea salt texture spray by Eleven Australia in my hair. My hair is very fine which makes it pin straight, very flat, no volume whatsoever so I like to spray some of this in. To give it a lot more volume and oomph because I don't like flat hair so I'm going to go ahead and do that right now. You kind of just want to rub this into your hair. A lot of the time after I get out of the shower I just spray that in, oomph it up and that is it. I don't really use a lot of heat because the spray itself does a lot. So as you guys can see that's already given my hair a lot of texture and body which I love. And just keep rubbing that in and just wait for it to dry a little bit. So I'm going to be completely honest with you guys, I don't usually use a heat protectant. I know that's really bad and I should use one, but I just haven't found one that I love yet and I've completely given up on them because whenever I do use one, they either make my hair go really oily, really quickly or super flat and I hate that. So for the sake of the video, I'm going to be a good example and use a heat protectant. The one I'm going to use is the ends cuticle sealer by pps this one actually is a good one but it's one of those ones that makes my hair a little bit greasier than it should but yeah it's not a spray it's kind of it's a gel so i put a little bit on my hands rub my hands together and i just put it on my ends because in my, with my hair that those are the only areas that get damaged and then just run it through the rest of my hair Okay, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to part my hair. I'm going to start from the tops of my ear and pull that up. And you should be left with these two parts here. So the curling wand that I'm going to be using is the Babyless Pro Conical Curling Wand. I love this because it goes from thick to thin and gives you just like a really nice natural gradient. Also with these kind of curling wands guys please be careful because you don't want to be burning yourself. It's very easy to burn yourself as you guys can see. Celia Heidi wasn't careful enough and I burnt myself in a place I shouldn't be burnt. So I'm going to go ahead and start curling. I'm going to start from the front, pull this in the back and And we are just going to release that after a few seconds. And you should be left with something like this. Wrap it around again. So I don't hairspray my hair while I'm curling it. I want to do my entire head and then curl because I don't really want the curls to hold that much. We want to kind of fluff it out when we're done and make it look all wavy and pretty. And let that go.
you can probably notice, I take bigger chunks when I get closer to the top because I want those curls to be a lot looser. The bottom, I like them to be a little bit tighter because I find it gives the hair a lot more volume. So that is what I do. And that's all the curls done. I left it to cool for a couple minutes just so the curls have a bit of time to set in. And then what I like to do is just grab my hands and just shake it out. I also like to go back in with my sea salt spray and spray that at the root of my hair. Also, if you like, you can take some of this styling powder. This one's by Taft. Part the... Oh, just take the front part of your head or hair. Shake some of that on. And then just for a little bit more oomph. So that is just an extra step I like to do. If you don't like too much volume, don't worry about it. I don't spray any hairspray, but of course you can if you like. I like my curls to drop a lot more throughout the day, which is why I don't spray any hairspray. And I also love to sleep on it and wake up the next day with second day curls which I personally love it's my favorite I think curls just look a lot better the next day when they're a lot looser more natural looking and yeah so that's pretty much it it is as simple as that thank you guys so much for watching I really hope you enjoyed this video and learned something new today if you would like to see more hair tutorials in the future please give me a thumbs up and I will definitely come up with more hairstyles for short hair and yeah thank you again for watching and I will see you in my next video bye